And Zabika having to use all his experience to calm his defence because they've been under so much pressure in the last few minutes. Taladera. Mark for Mori. Shielding the ball well under pressure from Wade. Redder now. Some good tackles going in in the centre of midfield. And on this occasion, it was Kevin Musket who didn't keep within the rules of the game, according to Richard Lorenz. Adelaide City have a free kick. Vidmar over the ball. Viet. Shilabir, Reda on the far post, and that's where it's come across. Shilabir misses it, and why doesn't? And Tassios, good play from him. Trimboli, back to Tassios. Oh, one well by Steve Tassios after giving it away. And now Trimboli has a chance to open things up. Good see Ulis. Hassler in an acre of room down the left-hand side. Viet comes across. The early ball from Gary Hassler. Tassios. Cleared away from Adelaide City. Polak, Trimboli. This is brilliant from South Melbourne. Polak going through. And again, just a long clearance from Adelaide City just to momentarily relieve the pressure. And Awaratifi and Zabika's right out of his goal. And that's well read from Robbie Zabika. A clever kick too, he didn't kick with all his strength in Robbie Zabika, just plonked it in front of Carl Viet there, gave him an opportunity to at least control the ball instead of just having to flick it on with his header, which is always a hopeful tactic. But the ball has come back at him equally as quick with Bitsianis. That's another corner. Well, in the corresponding fixture last season, South Melbourne won the encounter 2-1. The match played at Olympic Park. Butsianis and Awaratifi were the scorers that day. And they both had a promising start to this game. Butsianis with the corner. Wade was coming flying in there, but he couldn't get on the end of it. And Musket. And Vidmar takes over. And Mori's going through the centre. And this is where South Melbourne have to watch out because they're very quick on the break. And here's Damian Mori, and that's a great save, Anastasiados. But a real wrap on the knuckles for South Melbourne. And this was the speed of the break. Mori got in behind Durakovic and took the first time shot and it was an outstretched arm from Anastasiadis which saved the day. Wade able to start things again from the centre of defence. Hassler cuts inside Lozanowski well. And a great ball too to Gutiulis. Now South Melbourne looking dangerous with Tassios. Good play. Steve Tassios, not a bad effort either. After a good give and go with Francis Awaratipi. And Tassios scored his first goal of the season against West Adelaide during the week. And he almost got on the score sheet there with that 1-2 with Awaratipi. This is the build-up. Good first time play there. And the final shot on his left foot. Just past Sabika's left-hand post. Trimboli, good through ball for Butianis. Shilabir looks like he's there, though. <laughs> Seth Melbourne have the throw. Hassler. Not a bad ball to Butianis. Good ball across. Or a TV is there. And it was Alex Tobin who somehow got a body part in the way of that cross to clear the ball away. Hasn't gone out though. Mori on the far side. Must get in too aggressively on him. Butsianis worried about his left knee, but he did whip in a marvellous cross then. 
And it was only good defending from Tobin that cleared the ball for Adelaide City. Oh, Waratifi, well played. Those long legs certainly giving him an advantage there. And Trimboli goes through and he's brought down. Redder helps him up on his feet. And there were too many black and white shirts around Jason Pollock there. But he's won his team a free kick and it's in a dangerous position for Adelaide. So much so that they've got 11 players behind the ball. And that's the view from behind the goal. The wall still slightly disorganised. And Buziana scored a marvellous goal from a free kick during the week. We fancy him to take this free kick. Tassios is over it as well. Good shot from Buzianis. Sabika watched it carefully. Certainly his confidence would be up after that goal during the week. And he beat the wall, but it was straight at Zabika. Tony Vidmar's good on the ball and in the air, and he's good down the wing as well. This is a great run from Vidmar. Still Tony Vidmar, veered inside him, the shot. And the final effort, not troubling Anastasiados, but it was a marvellous run down the left-hand side. He'd beaten three other players at this stage, and now he had the shot on goal, and you could see him there. Tassios. Hassler again. Switch to Gutsiulis. Musket in support. Chance to cross for Kevin Musket. He's faced by Melter. Awaratipi under pressure, but taken over from Polak. Play on, says the referee. Good cross in. Still not clear, but now Melter finally relieves the pressure. And South Melbourne can start again with Gutsiulis. That's a great tackle indeed. Hassler. Waratipi again, his shadow, and Alex Tobin right behind him. The back heel inside, Bucianis, it's a cross, and there it is! A goal from Paul Trimboli. He had the easy job, but it was Bucianis who made the chance. And they celebrate together as South Melbourne hit the front. A Waratipi, the brilliant back heel, surging forward with Pizzianis. And there was Trimboli with the easiest goal he will ever score in his life. Good vision from a Waratipi. And you can see there the shot from Buzianis would have gone in, but the final touch to Paul Trimboli, and the goal will be credited to Trimboli, I'm sure. Oh, good play, Durakovic forward. Tassios, through the legs of Vidmar. Buzianis, it's a marvellous ball, Steve Tassios. A brilliant play, and a great save from Zabika. Another marvellous run from Tassios, we saw him in the first half on a couple of occasions, burst at the defenders. And this time he combined well with Bucianis. Cut inside his man and tried the shot. Zavika had it covered, but he couldn't control it. And he had to concede the corner. And this will be dangerous for Adelaide City because Bucianis can curl this in with his left foot. Zavika will have to watch it, and he does. Just manages a smile because he was anticipating the curl of the in-swinging corner so well. Gutiérrez now playing wide on the right. Tassios. Too tight there. And Pollock now will start again. And Trimboli in space and that's a great ball from Musket. Can he keep it in? Well, he reached the ball, but couldn't quite get his foot around it enough to provide a dangerous cross.
Paul Trimboli added to his 60 goals that he's already scored in the Coca-Cola Soccer League earlier this half with a tap-in for him from a yard out. They all count though, as I'm sure he'll tell you after the game. So that's 61 goals for Trimboli in the National Soccer League in 182 games. It's almost exactly one goal every three games, which is a good strike rate, especially considering he's playing in a more midfield role these days. Dittmar over the ball for Adelaide City. And Zoran Matic makes his first change. He's bringing on a young striker in Brad Hassel for just his second National League appearance. And Carlo Taladera, the central midfielder, goes off. Hassel will go straight up front. And there's his first touch, Hassel. He had an opportunity to have a head at goal. That would have been an incredible beginning to the game for him if he'd managed to conjure up something there. Now it's Adelaide City's turn to some pressure on their opponent's goal and Estesiados hasn't had a lot to do for most of this game. It's not clear though there, Mori on the turn. Paula clears. And there's a Waratipi and he's onside. Whether he'll keep it in though is another question though. He has managed to. No one in support in the centre for him. He will have to go on his own. Estesiados, a Waratipi. a lot to ruffle the feathers of the Adelaide City sweeper though the speed of Francis Awaratipi would come fairly close play the game. So he was under pressure then and he could be under pressure now because Vidmar's got the ball wide on the left. Redda cuts inside well, still Michael Redda and that's a good tackle from Gutiulis. And Trimboli goes down the line for Tassios. Slows things down though, finds Polak in an acre of space in the centre. This is great play from South Melbourne. And here's Anchi Gutiulis. No doubt about that free kick from Ivanovic. And Richard Lorenz about one yard away from that incident. Butsianis over the ball. He'll fancy his chances with this win behind him. In a similar position to where he scored midweek, though perhaps a bit more in the centre of the field. And there's the dip again. this man is getting for being a free kick specialist two marvelous strikes in two games and there's the shot curling it with the support of the wind and not even Robbie Zabika could get a hand to it one of the goals of the season already for Convitianis Musket, well played to bring that down. And good interception from Hassel. Tassios always seems to be a blue shirt in support of the ball when South Melbourne have possession. Hassel now. 
cuts in onto his right foot. He tries a shot, so a good shot too from Gary Hasler. And the body of Robert Zabika took the sting out of what was a fierce shot in the end from Gary Hasler. Off his right boot too, which is not his stronger side. Now they have a chance to produce a more measured build-up with Dirakovic down the left and Vizianis as well. It's just two men back there for Adelaide City, Alex Tobin and Milan Ivanovic. And that was enough to thwart that attack. today's game I'm sure and more so than Conbutianis with that terrific free kick there's the ball through and almost Butianis on the end of it there and Tony Vidmar still got some legs left at this stage of the game comes forward through ball for Murray Dorakovic back there Musket was time A good ball from Muscat. He was looking for Trimbal. He bundled off the ball, picked up by Pollack. Wade getting involved now, and Awara Tip is onside. Bitsianis in the middle. And the ball was short for Pollack. But the better option was at the back post with Bitsianis. And again, Alex Tobin. Certainly a lone figure at stages in the second half in the heart of the Adelaide City defence. Earning his wages with a good interception. South Bowen. Tassios has got Butzianis in space. He can cut in on his left foot, which he does. Tries to shot a goal, and that's a great goal from Tom Butzianis. The icing on the cake for South Melbourne. And with the pressure that has been exerted on the Adelaide City defence, it is no surprise that South Melbourne scored their third. Bootsianis really a man in form. Three goals in the last two games. Took his man on. Tobin beaten for once. And smashed a shot past the beaker's near post. Paul Williams describing the action and the personal making of history by Con Bootsianis. He was the hero of the match, scoring two goals, not three, as the official version had it this morning. But John, uh, the standard pretty high. And even us coming back from uh, Buenos Aires, where we saw some football, it wasn't disappointing. I think we pushed the standard of our National League down too much, Les. We saw uh, Racing and Vélez uh, together in Buenos Aires. I also saw Racing uh, Córdoba and uh, Boca in Rosario. And uh, the standard was was not as good as our National League in terms of football. It was very, very rough. Uh, there was no protection of the players by the referee. There was a lot of just wild kicking. And the entertainment value, forgetting the, the uh, fabulous atmosphere of both of those stadiums, for me, wasn't as good as our National League. All right, some nice incidents in that match that uh, a couple of the goals, uh, certainly, that were produced uh, were very nice indeed. And one particular one I, I know you like. Yes, uh, I, I think uh, this summarised the game completely because it was all South Melbourne. It was a boxing match where it called it off uh, a little after half time. So dominant were they. And positioning the ball all the time. They switched the point of attack from side to side. There was no needless giving away of the ball. On the other hand, Adelaide City, uh, a real shock for me. Not a lot to offer. So uh, this is a uh, type of uh, pass that we'll see shortly. Certainly not Adelaide City style. Just wanking it upfield. There's no one there. South Melbourne able to regain possession and stretch Adelaide City all over the park. And we did see uh, South Melbourne earlier in the year against Sydney United and they weren't very impressive, but on yesterday's performance, they're capable uh, still of fixing the best. This is their goal. In that whole move, there were some 20-odd passes except for two touches by Adelaide City. 
And again, it was symbolic of what South Melbourne did yesterday. All their players in fine form, particularly Gutsianis. Uh, although uh, that goal uh, really was Trimbold, is not uh, Gutsianis. Touch of class from Francis here. And problems, one would think, for Adelaide City. They really haven't recovered. South Melbourne, on the other hand, all their players in, in, in really fine touch. This is another one of their goals. Good build up on one side of the field, just spreading it wide. Gutsianis, man of the match uh, on the highlights we saw. Splendid skill and great finish. Terrific goal. They're really firing, and uh, on that form, there's not many teams in the, in the national competition can keep pace with them. And you're really happy for Colin Gutsianis, aren't you? Because he's, uh, he's not, uh, not a player that uh, hasn't shown a lot of promise. Over the last couple of years, you, you expected this sort of heroic performance from him. Well, and uh, the dead ball, I mean, to be able to score from a free kick as he did is, is a touch of a class player. He's the best bender of the ball. Now, I know there's one point of contention uh, which was raised uh, with us. Paul Waite spoke about it actually today, uh, is the, the, the colour of the shirts of the referees, the, the new colour that they wear. It was very confusing, apparently, to the players well, wasn't, uh, yesterday because it blended in with the uh, with uh, Adelaide City's colours. Well, not just the, the shirt, the fact that they had the dark shorts, which were the same as Adelaide City and South Melbourne players complaining. And for us just viewing the game here, it was quite confusing at times, let alone in the heat of the moment. Uh, the, the vision just off the ball or, or corner kicks or whatever, South Melbourne felt that, the, that quite often they passed to the referee and I think it's something the, the league has to look into. Perhaps a, a change of strip for the referees on those games where, where this might happen. Okay, John, thank you. Well, we also had...